Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I got something pretty cool, something that no one has done before, and I think I'm the first in the world to actually do this, so hats off to myself, man. All right, so we're gonna be breaking down a DJI Mavic Mini. This is the new drone that DJI just released. It's their ultralight under 250 grams, all that cool stuff. So we're gonna see what they actually packed inside this guy, see if it's actually worth your money. So there's two screws by the gimbal, and then there's two screws by the battery compartment. These are what's holding the top shell on. So once you have those removed, you'll be able to actually pry the top shell off of the drone. All right, so now that I have all four of those screws removed, I'm gonna begin prying the top shell from the bottom shell. I recommend using a spudger. Uh, they are almost a necessity when doing this stuff. Just be extremely careful with the Mavic Mini if you guys do want to attempt this on your own or do a repair or anything like that. Just make sure you're very careful because the plastics they use are extremely fragile and very easily break. Very, you can very easily break them. Um, so just, just be extremely careful when you guys are doing this. As you can see uh, from this right here, I, I'm taking my time and going all the way around the top shell before I actually completely remove it. And as you can see, I still had to use a little bit of force, but um, all in all, the, the top shell is fine. I did no damage to it. As long as you take your time and make sure everything's actually disconnected before you, before you go ahead and rip that off. So now we're going to begin to remove the bottom shell. And there is actually just two screws holding this in, so this is going to be a little bit easier than the top shell. And those are going to be located under the battery compartment, as you can see right there, towards the rear of the drone. So once you have those two screws out, you can go ahead and flip the drone over. And I grab it by these two little vent slots here, and I just go ahead and give it a nice little tug, and it pops right out of place. So again, this is very simple, very very thin plastic, so you don't wanna be too aggressive with it. So now that we have the bottom shell off, we're gonna go ahead and begin to remove the four in one ESC screws. So there's two in the rear, and then there's one holding the GPS to the 4-in-1 ESC. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that small one right there. And once we have those out, we're gonna actually go ahead and desolder the 4-in-1 <coughs> de ESC now. Um, and so there, there's a little ribbon cable on the 4-in-1 ESC that you're gonna wanna remove. And it is held down with some pretty firm glue, unlike any other that I've seen from DJI. So what I did was use a hot air gun and loosen that glue up, and as you can see, it just popped right off. And that's something I'd recommend you guys doing, maybe using a hair dryer to get that loosened. So here we're gonna go ahead and start desoldering the wires. And these are very small pads, so if you, you don't have too much experience with soldering, um, just take your time and be careful. You could probably get the job done. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you could always send it to DJI Drone Service and let the experts handle that. But not too hard so there's three wires per motor so once you have those removed we can go get go ahead and start removing the GPS slash IMU so there's two screws along the left and right side of the GPS slash IMU and then once you have those out you can begin to pull that out of the way of the 4 one ESC and you can now fully remove your 4 one ESC board and get that out of the drone so as you guys can see, this guy is tiny. I'm not really sure of the amp output of this ESC, but yeah, it's micro. This also has the power board, so the connector for the battery seats onto the 4-in-1 ESC. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the GPS, and as you guys can see there, there was just one small ribbon under it. So once you have the GPS out, we're gonna go ahead and remove this gimbal. The gimbal's only held in with the vibration absorbers, so it's, uh, it's fairly simple to get out, very, fairly straightforward. Just go ahead and pop those out of the frame. There's two on the top of the gimbal and then two on the bottom as I'm showing you right here. I used a pair of tweezers to get these out. Very easy, not too much to worry about here. Once you have those out, you'll notice that the gimbal is still held in there and that's because the ribbon cables are connected to the main board, which is located on the bottom of the drone. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove that. So to remove that, you have to take this heat sink off, which is only held in with three screws, two in the top, and then one on the left side. As you can see here, I didn't even realize that one on the left side until I was trying to pry it off. 
So there we go. We're going to go ahead and remove that and then we should have full access to this main board. All right, so now that we have that removed, you can see all the thermal paste covering the electronics. And we are going to actually remove these antennas, which are connected to the feet. So these antennas are held in with little UFLs. And you're just going to go ahead and break those free. Be very careful with these. I've had these actually break on other drones. You want to be very gentle and make sure you don't rip the connector right off the board. So as you can see, that one is actually tucked in between two electronics. So we're going to go ahead and remove that one. And now that we have access to these ribbon cables, we're going to go ahead and remove those as well. Just pop those up. And there is one more located next to the vision sensor that we're going to go ahead and remove. And once those are all done, we're going to take my screwdriver and just pop the flight controller or main board out of place. And now the drone is pretty much gutted. We're going to be able to take the gimbal assembly out as well. And the only thing left in it are the arms and motors, which I'm not going to take apart in this video. Uh, I don't see really any need to. It's You can already see them. There's nothing really hidden about them. Right here, I'm actually just removing a... It looks like a low-pass filter for the camera to clear up any noise or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but if you guys have a better idea on what that would be, go ahead and leave that down in the comments. So this is held in with some just standard DJI goo, that white goo that they like to use. I'm not really even sure what to call it. Liquid electrical tape, maybe. But once you go ahead and pop that out, you're going to be able to take the entire gimbal assembly out. And yeah, it's quite small. Just a lot of ribbon cables attached to it. So this, that's the whole Mavic Mini right there, guys. Four little components. You got your main board, which is what I'm showing you right now. So this is the main board slash flight controller. It houses the downward sensors and all your other electronics like the barometer, IMU, accelerometer. So here is the 4-in-1 ESC slash power board. So this is going to be where all your motors connect to. And it also is the power board. So this is what the battery connects to to give the drone power. quite small as you guys can see it is um, I have to zoom in pretty far to actually give you guys a good view of it all right so here's the GPS slash IMU so this is what the GPS and compass is housed so there's a little vibration board on top and yeah, it's again, very simple stuff here. Not too much to really work with. It, it, they had to cut a lot of weight, so there's very minimal electronics in this guy. So here's your three axis gimbal, um, does pitch, roll, and yaw. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the Mavic Mini, guys. It's, it's fairly straightforward, not too many electronics in it. Uh, it flies very well. I've been flying it quite a bit recently. I do like the drone. The camera quality is good. And all around, I think for a $500 drone, you really can't go wrong, especially because you don't have to register it with the FAA. But here I'm just reassembling the drone, getting it all put back together. Putting it back together was very straightforward. Not too much to it. Uh, the only tricky part was just re-sticking those ribbon cables for the, for the gimbal. You just want to make sure those are all put in the right place so none of them are getting kinked. But yeah, so the Mavic Mini on a scale from 1 to 10 of ease of repair... I think it's going to be either an 8 or a 9 because it's just very straightforward. There's not too many things hidden from you and you're, you have easy access to all the electronics. And I, I think this drone is going to be fairly simple to repair. So here I'm just resoldering the, uh, the motor wires to the ESC. As you can see, the pads are very small, like I said before. But if you take your time, you're going to have no problem soldering those back on. Just going to go ahead and seat that ribbon cable back onto the 4 one ESC. Make sure it's completely lined up. If you guys want a more in-depth rebuild video, let me know and I can totally do that for you. And here we are assembling it. We got the last step. I'm gonna go put those two screws for the bottom plate and go ahead and seat this top plate back on it. And we are wrapped up here, guys. So the Mavic Mini, pretty simple. Take pretty simple tear down. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned something about the Mavic Mini. If you're interested in seeing it fly, go check out our other videos. And yeah, guys, it's been DJI Drone Service. I'll see you in the next one.